Lipochromic canaries derive from the wild canary and due to a mutation that releases melanin pigments, they leave in their phenotype only the yellow base color. That mutation, called asianism, atrophies the enzymes that act on the melanocyte cells, preventing the melanin from being synthesized. Keeping this in mind, it should be noted that although lipochromic canaries do not have melanins, they are genetically still melanin. Starting from the yellow canary, its mutations and selections of the breeders appear in the varieties that we know today. With the passage of time and its hybridation with the Venezuelan cardinal, new varieties of lipochromic canaries with a red factor appear. The melanic canaries are characterized by the presence of melanins, dark pigments, on the base color of the lipochrome. Within the melanins we distinguish the pheomelanins, pigments that originate in the color black and brown in the plumage, and the pheomelanins, pigments that generate the color brown, light brown or reddish. We can also find oxidized or diluted melanins and almost disappear, according to the mutations of the specimen. Among the classic melanic canaries we can distinguish black, brown, agate and isabel. The classic melanins, according to variety, can be white, yellow and red. And at the same time, yellows and reds are present in the intense categories, frost or mosaic. They can also be affected by the ivory mutation.
we call pastels the specimens affected by a mutation that consists of a reduction of the pheomelanin structure and the dispersion of brown eumelanin, making it dilute slightly the black eumelanin. The pastel mutation has a recessive genetic behavior and is related to sex. The origin of the pastel mutation is developed in an example of Isabel Classic Yellow in the Netherlands. This mutation stands out in black specimens and agates that do not lose the melanic design like browns and Isabels. In the case of lipochrome, it will not be affected, although it will have a visual effect that will depend on the melanin and pheomelanin of the specimens. The gray canary wings are characterized by a pastel mutation that affects with a particular dilution in the wings and tails. There is an extreme dilution in the primary flight feathers, tail feathers, and coverters in its central part giving it a gray tonality with the tips of the black feathers. The subplumage of this variety presents a gray tonality. According to the background and category lipochrome we can find different varieties. This particularity of the pastel mutation only affects the black class. We define as canary opal those copies that present a modification in the melanic structure. The opal mutation transforms the black eumelanin into some large blue-gray colors, reduces the brown eumelanin and eliminates the pheomelanin. It is an autosomic and recessive mutation. It is believed that the opal mutation has its origin in 1958 in Germany. In the descendants of some green reproducers, a young bird with a pigment of a bluish-black hue. The plumage of the opal specimens is characterized because it is darker on the inside it is very rigid and has little elasticity. As the opal factor only affects the structure of the plumage, the cornea parts are the same as that of the type that affects it.
The examples of FAO canaries are also known as ruby or eno. The FAO mutation consists of the black and brown eumelanin inhibition, showing only the pheomelanin in a maximum expression. Due to this, the melanin drawing presents itself in the form of open scales to the head. The FAO character is transmitted in an autosomal and recessive way. The FAO specimens present sexual divorce, since females present more pheomelanin than males. Males have greater oxidation of the pheomelanin, in males the lipochromic zones have greater extension, in females the pheomelanin departs from the base of the beak. On the other hand, in males there is a small zone around the peak without melanin. When the eumelanin is eliminated, the cornea zones of the phao specimens present light-colored tones. For this reason, the eyes are also affected, showing more or less red according to the variety of the specimen. The satin mutation affects the canaries by inhibiting the black pheomelanin, dispersing and destroying, and eliminating the brown pheomelanin dispersing and the eumelanin. Due to this mutation we cannot differentiate the melanin series, so we classify the sample satin in satin diluted, pheomelanin black, and satin, eumelanin brown. These samples of satin present red eyes due to the elimination of eumelanin.it has beaks, legs and nails of light color and a light brown subplumage. In the Brown and Isabel series, the satin mutation affects the canaries by showing only the mixed brown eumelanin. The Black and Agate series loses the melanin drawing, presenting a reduced design, therefore they resemble the lipochrome canary with small light gray stripes. The satin mutation has a recessive character and is linked to sex. The topaz mutation consists of the modification and concentration of the eumelanin. The eumelanin is concentrated in the medullar center of the feathers, leaving the rachis and contours of the feathers unpigmented. For this reason we see a wide and clear gap between the streaks in all the feathers, even in covers. This mutation does not affect the eumelanin, but the selection of the specimens has achieved its elimination. Therefore, the background lipochrome looks better. As a consequence, they present short and very thin and wide streaks contours between the streaks and the eumelanin. The topaz mutation reduces the eumelanin black presenting a dark brown color, similar to the sepia color. The cornea areas, eyes, beak, legs and nails are affected in the topaz depending on the concentration of eumelanin, being of a more or less dark tonality of eyes, according to the canary variety. The topaz trait is autosomal and recessive against classic eumelanins and shares the codominance with the rachis and contours. The Yumo mutation is characterized by the absence of pheomelanin and the centralization and reduction of the black eumelanin in the black and agate series and of the brown eumelanin in the brown series. They present a melanic drawing just like that of the classic series, with the stripes less wide and present very luminous interstries where you can see the lipochrome at the bottom of the copies. The copies of Yumo is born with red eyes, they darken, depending on the series they belong to. The canaries Yumo present the cornea areas, beak, nails and legs, of light color. The Yumo mutation is autosomal and recessive, so it is transmitted by the same males and females and must be expressed in both progenitors so that the offspring are appreciated.
The onyx mutation is characterized by an increase in melanin and almost disappearance of pheomelanin. The color of the streaks is presented in a matte tone, being black or brown according to the series of the specimen. Due to this, the specimens show in their phenotype a darkening of the plumage. In comparison with the classics, we observe that the streaks are whiter but of a zenith tone, finding the greatest difference in a more accentuated dispersed melanin. For this reason, we find a notable darkening of the streaks. The onyx factor clarifies the cornea areas of the specimens compared to the classic canaries. The onyx factor is recessive compared to the classic melanic structures and pastel, being co-dominant with the opal factor. The story of the onyx canary goes back to the Balearic Islands in the 90s, from where it was transferred to the aviary of the Belver brothers in Valencia. The cobalt mutation produces a larger concentration of melanin, giving an effect, nourishing the chest, flanks and primarily the abdomen, to the region of the cloaca, of a gray color, more or less dark, or brown. The lipochrome in the background will look less luminous and pure. The action that the jasper mutation exerts on the classic canary is a remarkable reduction of the melanic structure, both black and brown, so the drawing of traces in melanics has reduced to a few fine bits of melanin dark jasper, similar to the gemstone jasper, of a pearl gray color that extends along the rachis of the entire mantle in a progressive way, the beginning of the rachis of the feather to the half of it, diluted, continuing until it is completely oxidized, a clear difference apart. From the genetic transmission between the jasper and the gray wings canary is a particular design. At first glance some defective specimens or with an excess of melamine appear with some ocelli that could confuse and this difference consists of the starry design on the flanks of which the gray wings lack also contrary to the gray wings that we only find in the black melanic series, in the jasper we find it in the four melanic series, black, brown, agate and isabel, the melanin is found in the rachis of the feathers. So there is a diluted area on both sides of the rachis, the melanin is found on the periphery of the feathers, what comes to be called three-leaf feather. The tonality as well as the quality of the melanic structure is slightly more diluted in relation to the classic canary and will depend largely on the classic used in the cross with the simple factor, taking into account also if it is an intense, frost or mosaic and above all if the used specimen is of good quality or average, the melanic reduction is better appreciated, long pattern in the male than in the female in the three melanic beings. Another of the characteristics is the extreme dilution in the large primary plumage feathers and wings covers, which is known as a long pattern. 
typical heritage of the genre spinous. Being together with the genetic transmission different elements that make it unmistakable with any other existing mutation, this melanic reduction affects the nine feathers in areas of the wings and in an escalated way it will disappear when it arrives next to the secondary ones, in the tail, the dilution effects only at the beginning of the female. The melamine does not feel affected by the mutation nor the lipochrome, which manifests itself in bright and clear tones by the reduction of the background melanine and the metallic effect. In terms of the lipochrome that exists at this moment, we can find red, yellow, and white background in its three categories and in the type of black melanins, agate, brown, and isabel. The Magno Canaries are characterized by a modification of the black and brown melanins and by a reduction of the pheomelanin. There is an inversion of the black and brown eumelanins with concentration under the middle channel of the cells. In fact, the lower part of the middle channel is darker than the upper part.